Oh, my name is Chris. I'm the Rustic Caveman. Today's been fairly productive. It's about, it's getting close to four o'clock, so I haven't got as much done as we really wanted to. Uh, we went into town, we picked up the wood for the V traps. We picked up those gates over there. Uh, at a, basically, an acquaintance's house. They were selling them. And we went to the hardware store. Picked up a little bit of dirt and a little bit of wood. So this fence post will be for the fence that goes across the front. And hopefully that'll be done fairly soon. But for now, let's get this dirt emptied. I was quite thankful that the wife helped me unload this. There was a total of, I think, three or four loads there. Uh, all together, Dad had bought about 50 bags of soil, uh, 40 some in my truck, and he had uh, a few in his. We were able to knock this out fairly well, pretty quick. With this last load the, out of the truck, uh, the wife helped me put everything at the end of the truck so that. Uh, on the trip back up, I could load it myself, not have to reach in there too far, and uh, she could just be down there to unload. I was having quite a few issues with my back, so I'm starting to look for about any break that I can get. And the tractor, sitting on the tractor while we're driving back and forth to the um, truck, just simply wasn't enough. Now most of the stuff we got here was topsoil. This topsoil had been sitting out at Bidwell Hardware for, uh, some of it had been sitting out all year. Some of it was new, but it's still sitting out. So even though those bags say 40 pounds, they were soaking wet, so they were well ahead of that. And he's got a couple uh, bags of compost in here. And as he's unloading them, he's placing them in the greenhouse. As you saw in the last video, he had them lined up against the raised beds. Now this uh, this blade had been sitting there for oh, since summer last year. It was in the way for the mowing, so it was time to go ahead and get it moved, get it out of the way. And in the back of Dad's truck, he had some more topsoil, and he really likes that uh, ground up garden soil. He mixes it, I think, one bag of the garden soil to two bags of topsoil and that's his preferred mix. Now he adjusts it from there for the different types of fertilizer or whatever plants he's going to use. I managed to get most of the posts taken out of the truck at this point and uh, this is the last couple. They're leaned up against the cabin because well that's where the gate's going to be. This is actually the second day. Um, my back was pretty well torqued by that time. But, uh, gotta keep going, gotta keep moving on. Right there in front is the wood. We've got that wood for creating bee traps. Uh, about the beginning of April, I've got to get uh, swarm traps out so that I can get bees for my hives. That's a project that uh, will be in another video. And I may change my design of how I'm doing it and use that wood for something else. So I decided to go ahead and use the truck as a um, workbench. That way I could use a stool and kind of sit there while I do it. That helped quite a bit. These are the boxes themselves. Um, each box contains eight frames. And just like the frames, we got to put them together ourselves. Saved a little bit of money that way, but adds quite a bit of work to it. I'm drilling a hole in the center tab for each one of these ends, and I'll use that. I'll use a screw to lock everything together. I did mess one of them up halfway through and had to take it apart, put it back together the right way. I had the handle upside down. So, I'm 
the trick about these things is they have to be pretty much dead on square. So we're going to glue them. That's the long part. And I made a mess with that glue. It went everywhere. Uh, if you see the top of the end board, uh, there's a groove. That groove is where the frames actually sit in it. And so to get this all set up properly, you have to get it, uh, you know, everything lined up. One of those tabs, the tab on the right is actually smaller than the tab on the far left. <clears throat> so that's to make sure you get everything lined up. However, you can still put it on but the uh, put it on backwards. You can still do it. I managed to. Quick slam, push everything together, try to get the glue set. Fumble around, get some screws set out. Now we're just using regular construction screws in this thing at this point. It's uh, the, the 1 of 5 eighths, I think was the length for it. I had to be really careful. Uh, that screw would split that tab and it would cause a lot of problems in the long run. So we had to make sure it was tight, but not too tight. Again, you can see from the finger sticking out, but that on the right-hand side, the space for that finger is actually smaller than the other one, and that lines up with the groove. So... Kind of helps you put everything together pretty quickly if you grab the right piece. The one that I did wrong, I actually put the handle to the inside instead of the outside. Simple mistake, but it's wrong. Bees don't like it. In the corner there, you can see those two posts that I put up. That'll be from the main gate on that side of the cabin. That'll be a drive-through gate. And that's actually two of five. Uh, the first one I did uh, several days ago. Just trying to make sure everything worked out the way I expected it to. I'm checking to make sure that it's square. Uh, square. It was almost a little bit off, so a little bump here and pretty well took care of it. But that's the same check I had to do in every single one of them. See Trixie in the background, she's actually one of the reasons why we need to get that fence up to surround the living part of the property. She has a tendency to go wandering off to the neighbor's house uh, quite often. And uh, she's returning from a, uh, a wandering trip at this point. After we got all of these put together, I was trying to figure out a place to put them. But right now, they're in the back of the wife's car. Um, just because it's a nice, secure spot to put them. They're dry. Next steps for this is we need to get some paint, paint them all, and uh, let them dry and kind of cure outside. And then they'll be ready for bees. And then if I get swarm traps done, which I should be able to do it here in the next few days, Get the swarm traps done, then they will be ready for being put out, and uh, I'll record video for that. And then if I catch any bees, you'll have the opportunity to see me dump them in there. 
and I'll be doing it barehanded, so most likely I will end up getting stung. That's just one of the things you have to accept with raising bees. Checking square. And it's good to go. Now this was back in Sunday. Um, Dad was worried about the, the next few days being cold, having a below freezing uh, mornings or night times. So me and the wife went out there and took some plastic. She found some of the hoops in the in the greenhouse, and we put she put the hoops in, and we added this uh, sheet of plastic to protect the strawberries from the freeze. At the moment, this being Wednesday, that plastic is still on there for a couple more days. Once we're out of the woods, we'll pull it off of there, fold it up. Keep it handy for next time. So this is uh, 24 feet of strawberries. And the fun part of that is uh, Dad's pretty much the only one that really eats a lot of strawberries. I eat a few, but I'm not that big on strawberry. Sherry doesn't like them at all. So we've got a lot of strawberries. So probably if we get a good batch this year, they'll be lasting. You know, they'll be in the freezer preserved. I'll probably have to make jelly. Probably give some away. But Dad does love his strawberries. And, as mentioned before in a previous video, we bought this stuff to uh, slap together another bed. And this is one of the few treated boards that was actually not at the uh, not at the length. Uh, it was like a eight foot and a half inch. Usually they're dead on eight feet, but it goes. It just shows to prove that you have to check every single board when you start working on construction. Now the untreated stuff you can pretty well guarantee it's not the it's a little bit longer than the length that uh, you bought. Those forks that I have for the tractor right there I can't tell you how many times those have come in handy. Um, either moving stuff or doing what we're doing right here or using it as a workbench. The bucket itself makes a great uh, tool pouch. Everything can fit in there. And uh, makes life quite a bit easier. That was a fantastic investment for about 140 bucks. And to make it easy, I decided to build the bed using the base, the bed below as a as some place to hold it. Hello, of course, like always, the chickens are all over the place. We put uh, three screws in just about every termination for any board. Um, kind of get it to hold together pretty solid. Some of them only have two, but these are going in, the screws are going in quite a bit easier than I expected, so I put the extra one in there just to make sure they're nice and secure. And thank you for watching.